Hi guys, today is new recipe Monday. Today we are making seared scallops with smoky sweet corn. Now I have told y'all before, I'm not a huge fan of seafood. So hopefully it will be good. I got these scallops. I'm waiting for them to finish defrosting. I'm going to take them out of this packaging and put them on some paper towel because to get a good sear on scallops, you have to make sure they're dry. So, and I'm also gonna get my corn ready for the corn puree. So stick with me. Well, I'm slightly worried because I don't know how to defrost scallops. I wonder if I should just, maybe I'll just make these scallops tomorrow and I'll just do shrimp tonight because shrimp is easy. No, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna defrost these things. Can't be that hard. Let me smell them. No, they're almost all the way defrosted anyway. Now they don't smell like anything, which I guess is good because if it smelled fishy, it'd be bad, right? So we'll just make the corn uh, puree first and hope these, maybe I'll just run them under some cold water, maybe? I don't know. Let me look up how to defrost scallops. That was easy enough. I just ran them under water for just a minute. So we are gonna set these aside while we get our corn puree ready. So what I'm gonna do is I need some bacon. Let's get that out first. I've got about four slices of bacon here. I'm just going to go ahead and cut. We're going to render this out because we're going to use the bacon grease to cook the corn. And then your bacon comes back into play at the very end of the recipe. So we're going to get this in a skillet right now. All right, now we're going to start cooking our bacon. I'm going to actually do it in this skillet over here so y'all can see it. Let's get this cooked down. Okay, I'm going to move my scallops out of the way because I'm going to get my corn ready. use a combination of frozen corn and a combination of fresh corn just because I'm not sure if I'll have enough with just these two ears of corn but we'll see let's go ahead and peel these somebody said if you just cut off the end that this should just slip right off I don't know if that's true or not but you know what we're just gonna peel it normally Look at this. It is easy. It is a little easier, huh? This is supposed to be yellow corn, but it's kind of white. Gonna separate the pieces a little. Sometimes I hope it'll do that on its own, but it doesn't. I should know by now, right? The skillet's not horribly hot yet. That's why I can stick my hand in here. Please don't stick your hand in a hot skillet. You guys are smart, so y'all know that. All right. I love this little skillet thing. It's so much easier. All right. 
kind of twist it like this to get that corn silk off of there. Okay, we don't want our bacon burn, so we're gonna do two things at once. Corn stick. This. But I think you're supposed to put another bowl in the corn salt. Kind of like this. Put this like this. Put this like this. I think. Let's see if it works. Yeah, it works. Like this. Guess I'm kind of cutting my bowl, huh? There we go. Pretty good. Give my bacon a stir. Do this other ear of corn. Just kind of turn the bowl this way. That, that didn't help the corn not go everywhere, you know? Okay. All right. Easy enough. Let's take this bowl out without spilling corn everywhere. See, there's not that much corn in there, but that should hopefully will be enough. This will see. Kind of washing up as I go. Okay, well, I'm going to add the rest of this bag of corn right here. That I have. So this is all yellow corn, see? Okay. Get off this little nibbles. Get a slotted spoon so I can start taking this out. So we're gonna take. You don't want your bacon to burn. You also don't want to use metal in your. Now I'm just skill it, but oh well. This is just about done. I'm just making sure some of those little pinker pieces are done. We're going to set that to the side. We're going to put a little bit of butter in here.
I'm gonna use my sad little scallions that I have. Because I need some. I have some other ones, but I'm not sure because I will need some at the end. And I wouldn't be me if I didn't add some garlic, so I'll probably end up adding some garlic as well. I don't want those to burn. Let's go ahead and add our corn. I'm cut myself. Now these recipes would go a lot easier if I was prepared. Okay, so first what we're gonna do. I don't even know why this stuff is up here in my way. Add some salt and pepper to this. Gonna add some smoked paprika. Now the recipe that I'm using doesn't call for um, garlic, but I have to add it because I am me. Smells good. Okay, now we're gonna add half of a block of cream cheese. Maybe if I opened it like that, look what I did to it. Crazy, crazy. Mm. 
You wash my hands up there. So we are going to melt this, and then we're going to get our blender out because we're going to get ready. Next one, we also need some heavy grease. Turn the heat down a little bit. Let me get the blender out. I had to move the skillet over because I am going to now put this corn inside the blender. And the heat of the corn has melted that cream cheese. This spoon. Move that skillet out of the way. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna puree this just a little to get it going. My nose always runs when I'm in the kitchen, I swear. Okay, I'm gonna get this heavy cream here. See how messy that was? Okay, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to taste it for seasoning to see what it needs. Let's see. Mm. Oh my God, that is so good. I'm gonna put a little bit more cream in here just to loosen it up a bit more. You see how easy this pure way was to make? Show you what it looks like. Look at that. Beautiful. All right. I'm gonna add just a little bit more salt and pepper. Make sure you season your food good. well. It makes you don't want to mix it too much because you want the corn to still have some integrity. You know? Mmm. Perfect. Now let's get to those scallops. I gotta do it sooner or later, right? Corn puree would be delicious with shrimp as well. I think I'm gonna make it again sometime. So let's season these scallops with salt, pepper. And some paprika. And then we're gonna flip them over and do the other side. Now you'll notice the scallops are different sizes. So I'm gonna try to do the same, the ones that are the same size at the same time. And they're supposed to be done for three minutes on each side. The sad thing is I don't know when a scallop is actually done. Okay. 
use my hand that I didn't touch the scallops with. go all right now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna heat some baking grease up in my skillet over here and i will show y'all of course and i'm also gonna heat a little bit of butter We go pray for me. So we're gonna do the, those are the biggest ones. So we'll do these first. Three minutes on each side. Gordon Ramsay was here to help me and give me some advice on these scallops. I'm a little bit scared. I'm not gonna touch them. Let's give these a clip. I hope that doesn't not burn. Garden is a burnt. It looks kind of burnt. Here are my beautiful scallops. Hopefully, that's what they're supposed to look like. I made us two little salads with um, some Olive Garden dressing. Go ahead and call Ricky and tell him it's almost time to eat. Let's go ahead and plate this up. I'm going to put the corn puree at the bottom of the bowl. I'm glad I added that extra corn to it. Next time I'll use a bag of corn, or next time I'll use more corn than this. scallops on top so here are our plates plated up and then you're supposed to put the bacon crumble it on top like that there and that is dinner looks beautiful we're gonna try it now so here it is it looks good we're gonna go ahead and try it now because I'm gonna try it with the corn puree Mm. It's good. I like it. And now that I know these scallops are good, I will uh, make them different ways. What do you think? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What? 